What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. So Nubia is back with another super powerful gaming phone, the one that we have today is called the Red Magic 7. This is a phone that's using the latest Snapdragon CPU and 18 gigs of RAM, you heard that right, this phone has 18 gigs of RAM, it has more RAM than my gaming laptop, which is pretty insane. Now you can get this phone with less RAM and less internal storage than I have, I have the version of 256 gigs of internal storage, so pretty much I have the top of the line for this particular device. Now, for those of you that like benchmark scores, this device gets an Antutu benchmark score of over a million. This is definitely the highest score that I have seen so far, and I can easily tell you that this is the fastest phone that I have used so far. Now, if you've seen the Red Magic phones that we got last year, well, this one is pretty similar. It kind of looks similar, and the biggest changes are on the inside. So, this one, the Red Magic 7, is more powerful and it has better cooling. Now, even the previous phone was super powerful and had really good cooling, so this one gets a fan just like the previous one, so you actually have a fan that spins inside there and you can feel the air coming out of the phone. So that's how the phone keeps cool, because this um, latest Snapdragon CPU that we have inside this phone runs pretty hot, but with the help of that fan, of course, it's gonna stay cool for longer periods of time. So if you wanna play for like four hours, you can definitely do it with a phone like this one. On the front we have a 6.8 inch AMOLED screen with the 1080p resolution and 165Hz refresh rate. Now if you're gonna be using the phone with that um, high refresh rate of course it will use a lot of power. So if you want the battery to last you a longer period of time I highly recommend that you lower that refresh rate maybe to like 90Hz. For me personally I do enjoy playing games even at 90Hz but it really depends on you. And I guess if you're getting a gaming phone, you may want to use it at its full potential. But again, if you're using it at the maximum um, refresh rate, you will use um, more power. Inside this phone, we also have a 4500 mAh battery. Now, on one charge, you can typically get between 4 and 7 hours of screen on time. Once again, it depends what you're doing with the phone, because if you're just watching videos, you can easily get 6 or 7 hours of screen on time. But if you're playing games and um, you're playing games um, with a screen set at the maximum refresh rate, of course you're not gonna be getting that um, 6 or 7 hours of screen time. So it really depends how you're using the phone. The phone also supports 65 watt fast charging, so charging this from 0 to 100 is done in about an hour and under the battery settings there we also have a setting where the battery doesn't charge, so you can keep the phone plugged in and the battery doesn't charge, you can just use the power from um, the power adapter to play games for example and that helps with the heating because if you're constantly charging the battery of course the phone will get hotter but if you enable that option you can basically have it plugged in and the phone is not gonna charge so you can just play with it plugged in if you want and as I said that will help with heating. Like in the previous years the phone's body is made out of metal at the top here we have a 3.5mm audio jack you do get great sound if you plug in some headphones and of course when you are gaming it's always best to have a 3.5mm audio jack so you can um, actually use headphones with it. On the left hand side here we have the gaming mode button, we also have those holes for the exhaust fan, so the fan that we have inside it, we have the volume buttons, at the bottom we have the slot for the SIM card. This device can take two SIM cards at the same time, but you cannot use an SD card with it, so definitely get the version that has enough storage for um, your needs, because you're not going to be able to expand that um, internal storage. We have the USB-C charging port and um, the holes for the second speaker. So the device has two speakers, one at the bottom here and one at the top. And once again, these are some of the loudest speakers that I've heard on any smartphone up until now. On the right hand side here again, we have the holes for that um, inside fan and we also have the power button. Now on this um, same side, we have um, two buttons that you can customize for gaming, but I'm gonna show you a bit more um, about those later on um, in the video. But you can basically set those buttons to do anything that you'd normally be doing on the screen in whatever game you're uh, playing. The back of the phone is made out of transparent glass and behind that glass we do have some stickers that will basically show you the specs of um, the device. Something cool I guess, but those are just stickers, so wherever you see the Snapdragon um, logo there, that's not exactly 
where the CPU is. That's just um, a sticker, but you can definitely see that fan and you can see that fan spinning. The fan also has some LEDs around it, so you can have those LEDs um, on or off. And we have another LED at the bottom here, which makes the phone look a bit more like a gaming phone, I'm gonna say. We also have three cameras on the back there. We have the main camera, we have an ultra wide camera, another camera that's used for portrait mode pictures. And um, these are some examples of pictures that I took with this device during the day and of course um, at night. Now I've also done a video, a camera comparison video between this phone and the iPhone 13. And if you want to see more examples of pictures and videos that I took with this and my iPhone 13, I will leave a link to that video in the video's description or um, the top right corner. So for cameras, if you do have plenty of uh, light, I feel the phone does great. It has a lot of potential for that main camera. If it gets dark, if you're taking pictures at night, even though we have a night mode, well, the phone doesn't do as good as other flagships on the market there. But for daytime pictures, I feel that it does um, great. Now for video recordings, I was a bit disappointed. So you can record in 8K with this device. Now, what you're seeing on the screen right now, it's 4K at 30 frames per second. Uh, so the colors in those videos don't look anywhere as um, they should be looking. So those palm trees, for example, shouldn't look reddish. So that is um, the same issue that we've had with the previous um, Red Magic 7. Now, I'm hoping that this will be solved with the future software update. But as of now, that's how the video quality is. Of course, you could always edit those videos, but it's ideal if you don't actually have to edit those videos um, that you film. So the cameras are still pretty average on this device, I'm gonna say. The phone also runs the Red Magic OS version 5, which is based on Android 12. And compared to previous Red Magic phones that I've had, I haven't actually noticed any bugs with this particular build. So I'm very happy to see that. However, I did get two updates um, since I had this phone. So hopefully it will get even better with um, future software um, updates. Everything that you do with this phone is extremely fast. And as I said, this is the fastest phone that I have tried so far. So opening apps is super fast, switching in between apps is super fast, keeping as many apps as you want running in the background um, is possible because you do have 18 gigs of RAM. But in all fairness, no Android phone can actually use 18 gigs of RAM. So having 18 gigs of RAM in a phone is a bit pointless in many ways, but I guess it gives you bragging rights because there are no other phones out there that have 18 gigs of RAM. Well, I think there are like two or three other phones that have 18 gigs of RAM, but most phones out there don't have 18 gigs of RAM. But overall, this is the fastest phone that I have ever tried. Of course, you can play any game you want at the maximum graphic settings for any game. There is nothing that will slow this phone down. As I said, this is the most powerful um, phone out there. That fan on the back of the phone will also keep the phone cool even if you play for extended periods of time. Now, of course, the phone does get hot whenever you're playing for like two or three hours at a time. But I haven't noticed the phone lagging even when it gets hot. So that fan on the back there definitely helps um, with the cooling. You also have that gaming mode where you can customize a bunch of things. You can um, record the screen. So if you want to share your um, gameplay, for example, on social media, you can do it there. You can customize those buttons at the top there from um, the gaming mode. So you do have a lot of options if you're playing a lot of games. And I guess that is the main point of this device for people that do play a lot of games on their phones. So as I've said earlier, if you've tried other Red Magic phones in the past, not a lot has changed with this one. Of course, this one is more powerful and has somewhat better cooling. But even the previous Red Magic phone that I've tried had really good cooling and was quite powerful as well. So not a lot has changed. I mean, we still have the same in-screen fingerprint scanner you can easily unlock the phone with your finger if you want. So a lot from the previous models is still here, but this phone is more powerful. If you're into games, if you play a lot of games, this phone will do good for anything. But if you don't play as many games, a phone like this may be overkill. I mean, sure, you can still open Facebook, you can still open Instagram on a phone like this, but having 18 gigs of RAM and never using those 18 gigs of RAM will be a bit of a shame. So if you're looking for 
probably the most powerful phone out there. The Red Magic 7 is definitely a phone that um, you should consider. Alright guys, hopefully this video was useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.